All right, so let's test the new EKG functionality of the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3. First, I'm gonna demonstrate, then I'm gonna show you exactly how to set it up. So here's my Samsung Galaxy Watch 3. It, it is also gonna work on Galaxy Active 2. So the first step is to go into my app drawer. I'm gonna tap the button, it's gonna bring up all my applications, and then scroll over all the way to, let's see, the Samsung Health Monitor application which is going to appear in your phone with the latest update, okay? So when you go inside, it's gonna give you a quick warning. It's gonna say, let's see on the top, make sure the watch is snug on your right wrist, all right? And then I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna tap OK, and the EKG or ECG comes right up. It wants me to rest my finger lightly on the top button. So the top button has a sensor to get this done. It takes 30 seconds to take the measurement, okay? It's going to show you on the screen. There we go. All right, so here's the results. I got the sinus rhythm, which I think means normal, not a doctor. But once you're done with this, you just tap on done, and you can do it again, or just exit and go back to your uh, watch screen. Now let me go to my cell phone and show you how to get this done step by step so you can check yours on your Watch 3 or Active 2. All right, so the very first step that you wanna take is to actually download the Samsung Health Monitor application. So what you wanna do is you wanna click the link down below. Okay, when you click the link, it's gonna take you straight to my website. You wanna scroll down just a little bit, okay? And under download, you wanna click on the link right here and that's gonna take you to the store and once you're in the store, you can download and install the Samsung Health Monitor application. Now this application is gonna help you actually read the ECG or the EKG off of the phone. Here's one example that I just did earlier. It gives me all the details on the phone and I can share this report with anybody that I want. All right, step number two, you wanna make sure that your watch is in fact up to date. So the next step is you wanna to go to your Galaxy wearable application, which you should have already have installed, and you wanna go down, you wanna make sure that you check for this watch software update. Uh, tap on here, choose whatever device you wanna use, Galaxy Watch 3 or Active 2, go to watch software update, and make sure you tap on download and install, and get this message that says you do have the latest update, your software is up to date. Once you do that, that application that you just saw in here, the Samsung Health Monitor application is gonna show up automatically, all right? And that's all you're gonna do to set this whole thing up. Just one thing to remember, when you launch this application for the first time, it's gonna ask you to enter your name, your date of birth, and stuff like that, nothing major, just like here. I tap on edit, that's all it's gonna ask, name, date of birth, and your gender, all right? So once you do that, it's gonna ask you to choose which wrist, left or right, are you gonna be wearing your watch on, and that's it. Then every time you wanna measure your ECG, you simply go to your watch, uh, you go over to the health monitor application right over here, you tap, you go inside, all right? It says make sure you're, you're snug, you tap on that as well, and then do the same thing I did earlier. Just, just place your finger here very lightly and it's gonna start the process. It's gonna take 30 seconds. Just make sure when you're doing it, you lay your hand on the table and you're calm and collected. And that's it. Once the reading is in fact complete, you can go into your Samsung Health Monitor application and it's gonna give you your latest reading right over here and you're good to go. Very easy to use, very useful feature as long as you're not the anxious type. If you're the anxious type, just stay away from this application. Uh, it might give you anxiety for no reason. All right, so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. And for now, guys, have a fantastic day. This is a great update for this phone. Uh, blood pressure monitoring is also coming. It's just pending approval from the FDA, at least in the United States.